Greetings, everyone, and welcome to part three of Sonic the Hedgehog. And we are still in Labyrinth Zone. The good news is, this will be the final video of Labyrinth Zone. So yeah, we're going through Acts 2 and 3 this part. Thank goodness. And if you want some speedy action, we will actually be going to the next zone afterwards. So, hooray? Uh, but why Labyrinth Zone? Why, why, why? Yeah, folks, I've actually uh, took a break for a little while because, well, it's the holiday season and I want to spend some time with family. But now that the holidays are more or less over, it's time to, you know, get back to work, you see. You know, making videos, uh, doing commentary, uh, all that fun stuff. I mean... This is actually kind of fun, but in a way, it's still kind of work because you have to record, you have to commentate, you have to edit videos together to make it all nice and pretty for presentation. So, yeah. And going through Labyrinth Zone is hard work. I mean, jeez louise, platforming here, platforming there, it's like, yeah, one misstep and down you go into the water where you can possibly drown. Alright, this section right here... We need to find a switch to open a door so that we can proceed onward, and it's actually hidden inside one of these TV monitors. Actually, it's this one right here. Yeah. It happens to be at the most difficult place to, well, jump down, because... Difficulty, you know? You know, I'm just, uh, let's see, to talk about something else, I really do like the design of this place. Well, the design, not the functionality of all these traps and ugh. And what I really meant is all this stone architecture, you know? All those stone faces. Yeah, those are actually stone faces right there of demons and whatnot. I'm, I'm guessing they're demons because what else could they be? Yeah, I like how they appear on the, like, on the... Let's see, the structure's there, and if you saw, saw it a little bit earlier, we can actually, let's see, those faces actually appeared in the background, because, um, uh, yeah. And it kind of makes you wonder, what kind of place is Labyrinth Zone? Some kind of demonic funhouse? I mean, the theme would fit, because this place is certainly demonic, and, yeah, with all these booby traps and stuff. I mean, yeah. I'm sure Eggman installed a whole bunch of traps, but some of them had to have been left there by the original uh, owners of the... whatever this place is. Yeah. <sighs> the music is calming, though. <laughs> For a death trap. I mean, what else do I have to say about this place? I mean, it's just me carefully going... Here, there, everywhere, avoiding spikes and being crushed and enemies and... Uh, uh. <sighs> Alright, but the good news is, folks, we have finished Act 2. Which means there is only one more act, thank goodness. <sighs> so... Uh, seriously, what else is there to say about Labyrinth Zone that hasn't already been said online everywhere? People hate Labyrinth Zone, although there are people here, there, you know, who might actually enjoy Labyrinth Zone because uh, they like a challenge or something. Yeah. Anyway, this section right here, you, we would go through an endless sliding sequence if not for this switch right here. By pressing this switch, we, well, we'll find the way out because uh, Labyrinth Zone is Labyrinth. I mean, it's called Labyrinth Zone for a reason. It's a maze. And that waterfall slide is an example right there. Had we not triggered the switch, we, we would be sliding forever. I mean, I don't mind water slides in general, it's just like... At some point, I just want to get off, you know? You gotta be careful right here, we got these spears. And, the, and we got this uh, platform that can fall off if you step on it. And... Ugh. I hate these things, I hate twirling maces. I hate twirling maces, okay. All right, spinning. All right. And I see you there, Burl Bot. I mean, you can tell where the Burl Bots are by their drill beaks. I'm guessing they're beaks or something. Uh, it's just that you need to proceed with caution. Just go a little bit slower. Uh, slow, yeah. You have to go a little bit slower. And then they'll pop out. And then you can nail them. I mean, 
Yeah. Uh oh, no, no, no. <sighs> Hell's close. <sighs> Whew. Yeah, make sure you take your breath every opportunity you can. Get to a set of bubbles, wait for the big one, suck it, and go. I mean, if you can't make it through this place, um, it just takes time and patience. <sighs> Something Sonic isn't usually known for. Uh, just keep going. Uh, that was close. Alright, let's go up here. And what shall we find up here? Come on, what shall we find? And I do like uh, Sonic's idle animation, like, Okay, come on, let's keep moving! Come on, player, let's go, or something. So, yeah. Okay. And if you see an invincibility box, take full advantage of it, because, uh, yeah. And what was the purpose of that air bubble right there? I mean, we had a little, little thing of surface right there. I, you know, yeah. It's just there to troll me or something. That's what it is. It's there to troll. Oh, there's an air bubble, but there's also surface right there. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Now we can go onward and... You know, shouldn't Sonic be tossed that... I don't know. Ooh, another invincibility block. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now go. Well, I would be going faster if not for the water's... Um, uh, feeling, pressure, something. You know, that's kind of realistic because when you're underwater, you tend to move a little bit slower. I mean, that's fact, I guess, or something. I'm not entirely sure. <sighs> okay. Oh, that was close. All right, let's proceed on upward. Oh, okay. Okay, thankfully there were no spikes right there. Yeah, you can tell I'm a little bit cautious right here because it's Labyrinth Zone. It's not exactly known for its speed. And if you manage to get and hold on to 50 rings in the first two acts to get a Chaos Emerald, then I commend you. I commend you. I salute you. I would shake your hand if I can do it across the internet. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, if you're going for all the Chaos Emeralds, don't rely on this zone to... Well, get two of them. I'm just saying. Oh, uh, yeah. You have to hit the switch up there to reverse the direction of these, uh... Well, these platforms right here. And slow-moving platform is slow. Now, I still can't get over the fact that there are demonic faces in the background on the walls everywhere. It's like this place was made for evil. Now, speaking of evil... We're about to come across another boss fight. However, it's not your typical boss fight that we've had so far. No, we are not going up against another one of Eggman's mechs. Nope, nope, nope. This time, we are going to be chasing Eggman. Yes, you heard me. Chasing Eggman. Up through this, uh, well, vertical pathway. And, uh, well, our goal is to not die. I mean, you can hit him if you like, but... The main purpose of this quote-unquote boss fight is just to survive, really. Survive the death traps, survive the rising water, and yeah. There are no air bubbles along the pathway, so you got to hurry, hurry, hurry. I mean, we have rings, we have shields. Well, a shield, that should help you. But overall, just try not to get hit. You should be fine. Just plan your path accordingly and time your jumps. Alright, I can do this. I can do this. Now, I don't know if it's harder than a standard mech, or... To be honest, I would have preferred fighting Eggman in a mech, because... Well, it makes sense, you know? Because... Yeah. But, thankfully, the nightmare is over. We do not have to go through Labyrinth Zone again. We are done. We are done. We are done. Thank goodness. We are, ne we are not going to see anything like this again. Nope, nope, nope. We are not going to see anything like this again because it's just too slow, too painful, and too difficult. And <laughs> All right, onward to the next zone, Starlight. And it is fast. It is speedy. We're going to get this done quick, folks, because... Speed! Glorious, glorious speed! Something that we missed, oh, so much! Oh, thank you, thank you, game. 
I mean, after the torture of Labyrinth Zone, I mean, we could use a dose of speed. We can use a dose of, well, get through a stage as quick as you can. Oh, it's so, so, so glorious how I've missed you, even though <laughs> it's been last video. So, oh, I so missed you. Yeah, we still have enemies, we still have traps, but uh, who cares? We got rings. Rings protect Sonic, so just go for it, in my opinion, just go for it. And of course, I'm being a little reckless because, well, speed! It's been a while since I've speed up, or sped up, or... Uh, sorry, this is bringing a tear to my eye, I'm seeing Sonic going fast again, this is just... Wow. Now, remember folks, Sonic does not have a spin dash yet, so we're going to have to rely on the terrain for Sonic to get his momentum, you know. I mean, to be fair, it works for this game, but, um, yeah, I kind of want my spin dash, thank you very much. Even though future ports like Sonic Genesis insert the spin dash, um, yeah, it doesn't work out as well, uh, because, well, I actually tried it once, and I've seen other playthroughs of it. Well, Sonic Genesis, that is. And ew, it's not pretty. It's not pretty at all. And, oh yeah, we're already in Act 2. See, I told you this level will be going by fast. I mean, <laughs> I mean, Zone, I mean, whatever it's called. I, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, the fans that would periodically turn on and off will actually suck Sonic in the opposite direction. So, if uh, you're to the right of the fan, for example, when it turns on, you'll be sucked towards the left because, well, fan is evil or something? I don't know. Mm, yeah. Now, folks, if I remember correctly, Starlight Zone's Acts 1 and 2 are the final chances you have to get the Chaos Emeralds. If you're going for all the Chaos Emeralds you see. Because, well, if I remember correctly, the final two zones, well, zone and a half, don't, don't allow big giant rings to appear if you collect all 50 rings. So, yeah, if you're going for all the Chaos Emeralds, um, this is your last chance right here. In fact, this zone is actually your last chance to get them. And, yeah. In fact, near the end of Act 2, there's a place that you can get enough rings so that you can make the giant gold ring appear so that you can access the special stage. It's like the game says, alright, if you want to access a special stage, here are all these rings. Go for it. Yeah. So, yeah, folks, um, that was your last chance. If I understand this game correctly, I mean, I could be, I could be wrong or... The next stage would be your final chance, but um, I think I'm right. I think I'm right. Um, subscribers, commenters, uh, feel free to correct me or congratulate me on my knowledge of Sonic trivia. So, yeah. Anyway, we have seesaws with spike balls. Yeah. Let's just say that this will come in handy. Oh, yeah. Here's here's what I'm talking about right here, folks. That The fans that periodically stop and... Start and stop that can suck Sonic uh, towards the opposite direction because, yeah, as I was saying about the seesaw things right here, we just jump on one end to make the spike ball go to the other end, and we just, uh, well, let Sonic go upward. Makes it look kind of fun, you see. We and let, I'm just gonna say that the seesaws will come in handy, uh, well, for the boss fight, yeah. And I totally did not plan that, uh, thank you, Momentum, thank you very much. Alright, here you go, just curl up into a ball and just let the Momentum carry you towards the end, because, again, Starlight's all about speed. What? Oh, okay, okay, you blindsided me, giant mace ball platform thing. Ooh, I hate that. But thankfully, there was a shield nearby so that, well, I would survive because <laughs> surviving is essential in order to beat the game, you see. Because, uh, yeah, whatever. Alright, I think we're almost to the boss. Just need to survive. Whoa! Woo! Woo! Thank goodness it was not a bottomless pit. Yeah, I believe there are bottomless pits uh, nearby or somewhere throughout this level. If you just uh, maintain speed, maintain the pathways, keep going the upper pathways, you won't encounter them, so yeah. 
Anyway, here is the boss of Starlight Zone. And yeah. Now, there are two ways you can defeat Eggman here. You can use the seesaws to launch the spike balls at Eggman himself, or, well, use the spike balls to allow Sonic to go upward so that Sonic can hit Eggman himself. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's not that bad, it's just a little time consuming if you don't know what you're doing, you know? Now, from what, from what I've experienced uh, through this zone on the on Sonic Genesis, the GBA adaption of this game, the remake, you don't even need the sea sauce. The screen crunch alone is enough for Sonic to go up and essentially take care of Eggman. You don't need the spike balls, you don't need the sea sauce or anything, and I kind of think it's... I don't know if it's either ridiculous or easy, or probably both. Ridicu ridiculously easy. There, I said it. Alright. You're going down, Eggman. I know it's taking a little while, but there we go. That should do it. Thank you very much. And so, folks, we're almost at the end. So, yeah. So, next time, we will go to Eggman's base of operations here on South Island and stop his reign of terror, turning animals into robots. Uh, see you then.